Okay, so what do the inside tick marks represent? What do you think this one might represent, Rachel? Um, half of an inch or whatever we're talking about here on the number line. Okay, so one half. All right, we have three tick marks on the inside here that are not labeled. What do you think this one represents, Akaya? Third. Um, it's not a third. What do you think, Haley? A quarter. A quarter. What would this one represent, Nicholas? Two over four or one over two. Two over four or one half. This one, what would it represent, um, Andy? Three-fourths. Three-fourths. So, um, remembering that a number line can be broken up based on what my starting point might be, zero, my end point is one, and I can, I can divide what's inside as, however I want. I can also take a number line and start it at 50 and make this 60. And then I could put tick marks in between to represent 51, 52, 53, and so on. So I can make my number line whatever I want. These number lines are showing fractions. Okay. All right. Go ahead and open a 12-5. The data show the data show the lengths of the button in Jen's collection. For an art project, she wants to know how many buttons are longer than a fourth of an inch. You can use a line plot to solve the problem. A line plot plot, ugh, I can't talk today. A line plot is a graph that shows the frequency of data along a number line. So here are the length of her buttons. She has, and they're based on an inch. It tells us inch up here. So there's a one-fourth, three-fourth, one-fourth, four-fourths, one-fourth, and four-fourths again. So we are going to first make a line plot to show the, the data. Step one, order the data from the least to greatest length and complete the tally marks. So they've already ordered them least to great for you. You guys know how to do this, especially when the denominator is the same. So we're just going to go and do tally marks. So how many one-fourth, I mean, what is this one? Four. One one-fourth. What's the next one? Three. Three fourths, and then one fourth, and then four fourths, one fourth, four fourths. I have about three of you who followed that. That was only me. Yeah. Well, there was a couple people that started. So, um, is there anybody confused where I got these tally marks from? Okay, the data is right here, and every time I saw something, I made a mark for it. So I saw one fourth, so I made a mark. Then I saw three fourths and I made a mark. Then one fourth, another mark up there, four fourths, one fourth, four fourths. Okay. Label the fraction lanes on the number line. So now we're going to do the number line. I have one, two, three, four tick marks. What do you think are going to go on the tick marks here? Should I start at zero and do one? No. Let's see what happens if I do that. Yes. If I do zero and one like I did started on the board, I need to put one four, three fourths, and four fourths on there. Which one would be four fourths? One. The one. That would definitely be four fourths, right? Because that's one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put one like that. Okay. Now, can I put can I do this? No. No. What's wrong with me doing that? What do you think, Preston? Because there's no half. There's no two-fourths. We need to get the two-fourths in there. So the best thing to do is just go ahead and do two-fourths and one-fourth like this. Okay, although you can write them on the line. Mine's just too fat to write them on the line. Okay. So down here, I'm going to, on this white, on the blue line here that I didn't write, I would put length in inches. So we have to label that. So this plot right here is going to say, it should say it right under here. I just don't have room. Um, how many am I going to put on the fourths? Raise your hand when you know. How many am I going to put on the fourths? How many, um, Bella? Two. 
three. Three. So I'm going to go like this. X, X, X. Go ahead and do yours real quick. How many X's am I going to put on the two-fourth? How many X's on the two-fourth? Owen? Zero. Zero. I'm going to leave that one alone. How many on the three-fourths? Angelica? One. And how many on the four-fourths? Luna? Two. Two. Now let me show you something. When you're doing a line plot, let's say I was going to plot some of the two-fourths. I'm not because there's nine. But what I don't want to do is this. Can anybody explain why on a line plot I wouldn't want to do that? What do you think, Ethan? Because you're putting X's for how many there are. Let's say I had one that was two-fourths. Why would that be a bad way to represent it? What do you think, Jaden? Because the X is too big and it doesn't make sense that the X is out. Okay, it's too big. And when I'm reading my data, I'm not going to be able to tell really, I'm not going to get that visual that there's only one. Because it's kind of, it looks like it's more than this. Doesn't it look like it's more than this? Yeah. Yeah, so we want to keep our X's about the same size and about lined up. So if I was going to put it, I would want to put it like that. So it's kind of lined up with the other ones that are the bottom, and it's the same size. But I'm erasing that because we didn't have any. The question says, how many buttons were longer than one-fourth inch? When we look at the top, that's what it said. So how many buttons are longer than a fourth of an inch? Can I look at my line plot and decide how many are bigger than a fourth of an inch? Raise your hand if you can tell me how many are larger than a fourth of an inch. Show me on your fingers how many are larger than a fourth of an inch. Okay, she said you add these two X's and this one X because here's the one fourth mark, right? Right here. So anything greater than that is going to be larger. So there's one, two, three that are larger. So three buttons are larger than one fourth of an inch. How many buttons are in her collection altogether? Okay, what'd you guys get? Six. Six. Hopefully you counted these and not those. Because <laughs> there's ten of those. My pen is dying. What is the difference in length between the longest button and the shortest button? So first you have to find the longest button, and then you have to find the shortest button, and then you have to find the difference. Go ahead and figure out the difference. Okay, so I like the way he did that in a sentence. He said that the larger button is three-fourths of an inch larger. How did you find that difference, Sean? What did you do? What was the math? I did um, one-fourth one subtracted by four-fourths. So four-fourths minus one-fourth? Which equaled three-fourths. Which equaled three-fourths. And that's where he got his answer. Some of the students in Ms. Lee's class walk to school. The data show the distance these students walk. What distance do most students walk? So you can see the data over here. It says the, the distance students walk to school, one half in miles, by the way, in miles. So one half, one half, one fourth, three fourths, one fourth, one half, and one half. Now I have to put, remember the first thing we're going to do is order the data in, from least to greatest. I have my numbers, the first thing I want to do is write down which ones I see. I see a one-half, I see a one-fourth, I see a three-fourth, I see a one-fourth, I already got that, and I see a half, and I've got that already. So how can I put that in order from least to greatest? I have one number that's in halves. <clears throat> what should I do so that I can make this easy to order them, Nicholas? So I can make an equivalent fraction to one half to have fourths on the bottom, and what would the top? What would the numerator be? Two. Two. So we're just going to call our one half. I'm going to put it up here so I don't forget. One half is actually two fourths. Now, can I order them from least to greatest? Yes. yes. What is my least amount? One fourth. One fourth. And then two fourths. I'm going to go ahead and write the one half there because that's the same, the equivalent to two fourths. And then the last one is three-fourths. Three now I'm going to write them on my chart here. One-fourth, one-half, three-fourths. 
Okay, so let's start doing the tally marks. So my first one is what? Looking up here. One, one, one half. half. So I'm going to put a tally mark. My next one is? One half. One half. Then? Four. And then? Three fourths. Three fourths. One, one, and then one fourth. One half. One half. Okay. Now we're going to do our plotting. What should my first label here be? One fourth. One fourth. And this one should be? One half. One half. Thanks, Lydia. And the last one? One fourth. No, nope, not one third. Three fourths. Three fourths. It's these fractions. We're putting them here. All right, I want you to go ahead and plot your X's where you think they should go. How many X's should I put above the one fourth? Two. Two. One, two. How many above the one half? Four. One, two, three, four. And how many above the three fourths? One. One. Before I go on to my question, I'm going to label this. I should be labeling it the same thing that I did up there, which is distance, walked, in miles. And most students walk one, how far? One half. one half a mile. The next question says, how many more students walk one half mile than walk one fourth? So here's my one half, and how many students are there? Four. Four. And here's my one fourth, and how many students are there? Two. Two. So if I'm trying to find out how many more walk this than this, I'm doing four minus two. Which equals two. Or I can just look at it and go, okay, well, these cancel each other out, and that's how many extras, which two. is two. Okay. What is the dis difference between the longest distance and the shortest distance? What is the longest distance? Three fourths. Three fourths. And what is the shortest distance? One fourth. One fourth. Do the subtraction. See? Two fourths. And do I have an equivalent fraction that's reduced? What is it, class? One half. half. So two-fourths, which actually equals one-half, is the dif difference. What if a new student joins Miss Lee's class who walks three-fourths of a mile to school? How would that change my line plot? In words, I want you to write, how would that change my line plot? To add one more student who walks three-fourths. OK, who would like to share? What they, um, how they answered this question, Daniel. There you go. That was a very nice explanation. She said it would change my line pl plot by adding another X to the 3 fourths mark up there. Okay. Alrighty.